today has been an absolutely fantastic day. Hundreds of Pembrokeshire school children dressed in white t-shirts with gold Celtic crosses, painted by themselves. All kinds of people from all over the world really because it's the tourist time in St. David's, all awaiting the pilgrim's arrival. They got here, the handbells began to ring, the largest horse in Pembrokeshire began to walk, and they proceeded down the high street, met residents of Care in the Community, which is a wonderful organization. They bestowed the lead pilgrim with a um, Celtic cross created out of willow and fell in line and continued along to the cross square where the mayor greeted them. And more importantly, one of the members in St. David's made a beautiful gift for the pilgrims made out of carbody stone, which is the purple precious stone that's found here on the coastline that St. David's Cathedral is actually made of. So that was a really moving moment. You could see the tears in the pilgrims' eyes. And then as they got closer to the cathedral, the big bells began to ring for 45 minutes as they continued into St. David's Cathedral and carried on into the really youth extravaganza that happened at the Bishop's Palace. <laughs> What we've had in the Bishop's Palace today is a mix of art, dance, and music. Art made by primary school children, illustrating a poem of St. David's life. We've had Wishes for Wales, which is a project with Cadu and Treginis Isa, Farm for City Children. More than 600 golden stones. The artwork on one side has been inspired by St. David's Cathedral, and on the other side are wishes. And these wishes are a gift from children, and they know that their artwork is here in the palace, and they know today that a piece of them is here in Wales because they will stay here installed in the palace forever. One of the concepts of, of not only the Cultural Olympiad, but, but really everything about what's happened here in the arts is bringing these historic buildings back to life so they don't just look like a ruin to children, they look like a place to play, to breathe, and also remember the wonderful things that happened here before, but more importantly, what the children are doing here. And it's also the most wonderful thing for people who have born and raised here to remember how special this place is. It's been amazing today. It's been absolutely fantastic. And what a procession. Everybody was in it. Children of all ages, including those up to the age of 90. That was brilliant.